Welcome back folks to Chicago 811. How the hell is everybody doing? Hope you guys are doing pretty good. I'm telling you, man, those Chicago weather is brutal. Brutal out here, folks. All through March, man. Rain, snow, sunshine, 50 degrees, 40 degrees, 20 degrees. Yeah, we had all four seasons in March, folks. All four seasons. Anyway, we got another video. We're locating communication out here. This kind of guy wants to do directional board. Please like, subscribe, and let's get into the video. I don't recall this on a print. What the hell is this doing out here? Alright. <clears throat> Alright, so we gotta get in this full pad. We gotta locate out here for these guys' directional bore. So let's get into this foam pad. See what the hell is going on. Oh, it's like a swamp here. Eating rants. Now rants here for splice. All right, so counting my ground straps, I got one, two, three. I got four cables in here, plus a splice, and the splice ain't doing any shit. All right, so this hundred pair. Right here must be feeding the property over there. So I'm not worried about it. I need two 600 pairs that goes from here. One goes to that building and one goes out to the road. So I got to unbind all this so nothing's touching the metal. And hopefully I don't lose a nut. Not in the water. So anytime you bind these pads back up, folks, you need to tighten the screws nice and tight. Because by just sitting there nice and loose, there are going to be Customers might experience interference on the lines, noise on the lines. So it has to be nice, it has to be torqued down. Usually these are torqued to specs by AT&T. All right, so this one here looks like it's on a harp here. All right. So in this case here, it looks like it's at a hundred pair, I'm not too sure. I'm going to hook down to all three, one at a time. Get my best, best milliamps and locate, locate it out. And, and this swamp. Good continuity, the other end must be bonded. A lot of times, folks, if the other end is not bonded, you won't be pushing out a hundred. You will not be pushing out a hundred like I am right now. You'll be pushing out like 50, 30, 20, 80. So see how far I went from the box? About 30 feet away. That's where you want to be. Alright, this one's fake out. So you see, I'm gonna complete almost a 360 sweep, so I'm going out to this property to find if this cable goes that way. While my work's out here, so I wanna make sure 
I catch anything from that cross box way down there, out here, and back here. So I'm gonna do a half a moon. And I should hopefully catch it all. I'm reading it at two feet, one and a half feet, 85 milliamps. And good and old response. So that's the first cable on the hard mark this curb for anybody else that comes out. They can see the hard mark, they know they got a phone line coming through there. All right, we got two more cables. So one's out of the way, we got one more crossing, and then the 100 pair, the 100 pair is abandoned. It goes to that pad there that I marked out. The print shows it abandoned, so that's the 100 pair. It's no lot longer active. But since the pet's still out there, you know, I don't work for that utility company. I don't work for ATT, so I'm going to mark it because I'm just a locator. my box I can hear it I got the volume all the way up so I can hear it so that, that's important if you have your box up you can hear the different sounds that you know if you're on your cable if you know if you're pushing out good milliamps or not of your transmitter it makes sense and you can notice I'm at 46 percent only 46 percent I'm not even cranking it up because I don't want to bleed on to the other utilities that's out here. So I'm, I'm low on my receiver. All right, I'm getting this one going that way too. So, There's an issue because <laughs> all those cables that are in there are intertwined with each other. So let's try the last cable. All right, so my last cable, so we do this one, this one here, push it out 100. That should take me across to the home run. The home run, the CO out here is the manhole. That's your CO. So I'm still at 57. So once again, that print's wrong. This cable is going to the cross box, not to the manhole.
that's a no. So I'm gonna peek it all the way out and bring it back by no.